an introduction to quadratics. The graph of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c might look like one of these six graphs here. So in the first example, we have a u-shaped curve which has two roots. The roots are where the curve intersects the x-axis or just touches the x-axis. Two roots here. This example here, one root, sometimes this one is called a repeated root, and we'll have a look at why it's called a repeated root later. Now this one here has no interaction with the x-axis at all, so there are no roots here. So these are your u-shaped curves, and you have similar n-shaped curves where you have two roots, one root, or a repeated root, and no roots. When sketching quadratic graphs, you should give the y-intercept, so whatever the y-coordinate here is, it should be stated here, 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 and here. Other um, key features that you find with uh, quadratic graphs is something called the vertex. Now the vertex is the lowest point on a u-shaped curve. So for example this point here, what are the coordinates for this point? And this point here? Here. For n-shaped curves, the vertex is the highest point on the graph. Now sketching the vertex is usually um, uh, optional in a question. It will state in a question whether they actually want you to um, uh, mark the vertex. But a typical graph must include roots, if they exist, and the y-intercept. Yeah, those you should show at all times. But the vertex, it all depends on the question.